Sunday, Hillside Kids, and welcome to Church Online. Today's game is Nailed It or Felled It, Grandparents Edition, because today is Grandparents Day. You all know the rules. We'll show you the beginning of the clip, then you have to guess if they nailed it or failed it. Let's get started. I'm Carl Brown, Josh's friend. I'm 51 years old. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can do a backflip. Ready? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. I'm Carl Brown, Josh's friend. I'm 51 years old. All right. Let's see if we can do a backflip. Are we ready? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Do you hear it clicking? No. Eighty-one years old. Yes. Eighty-one years old. Yes. Eighty-one years old. Don Morton flips and twists around the gymnastics bar better than most youngins. Wow, so cool. I hope you guys had a lot of fun playing Nailed It or Failed It. But now, it's time for worship. Stand up and let's worship together. Hey friends, I am so excited to get to sing and dance with you today. We are going to jump into one of your favorite songs, I guarantee it. So let's go. A river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. It's an open heaven, you're releasing, and we will never be denied. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells, we're stirring up deep, deep waters.
If he goes to the left, then we're going to the left. And if he goes to the right, then we're going to the right. We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we're going to the left. If he goes to the right, then we're going to the right. We're gonna dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we're going to the left. And if he goes to the right, then we're going to the right. We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we're going to the left. And if he goes to the right, then we're going to the right. We're gonna shout, 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 shout in the river. Shout, 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 shout. Let's pray together, friends. Jesus, we love to sing and dance for you. You are worthy of all of the praise that we could ever bring you. You are so good to us. God, I pray that this, me this message that we would learn today, that you would help us to carry that out into our weeks and that we would be an example of your love to everyone that we are around. We love you so much, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Hey Hillside families, it's Sarah and I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Welcome back to Hillside Kids Online. And this week we are continuing to learn about parables. Last week, Mr. Connor did a great job of explaining what a kingdom parable is and how it helps us understand what the kingdom of heaven looks like. But today's parables are a little bit different. We're learning about three specific ones to help us understand how much God loves and cares for us, even as sinners. There's a sheep and a coin and a son. You know what? Let's just watch the video to get the full story. <laughs> Tax collectors and sinners came to listen to Jesus teach. The religious leaders complained because Jesus welcomed sinners. So Jesus told them three parables to teach them about God. Jesus said, If a man has 100 sheep and loses one, what does he do? He leaves the 99 sheep and searches for the lost sheep until he finds it. Then he tells his friends and neighbors, let's celebrate, I found my lost sheep. In heaven, there is more joy when one sinner repents and turns back to God than for 99 people who did not wander off. Jesus also said, if a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one of them, what does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps the house and searches carefully until she finds it. Then she tells her friends and neighbors, let's celebrate, I found my lost coin. Then Jesus repeated, in heaven, there is joy when one sitter repents and turns back to God. Jesus told a third story. A man had two sons. The younger son said, father, give me my inheritance today. So the father gave his son his share. The younger son left home. He wasted his money and lived foolishly. There was a famine and the people in that country did not have enough food. Hmm? Oh. 
The son got a job feeding pigs. He was so hungry, even the pigs' food looked tasty. The younger son made a plan. He would go back to his father and admit he was wrong. He would ask to work for his father like the servants. So the younger son headed home. He was still a long way away when his father saw him coming. His father ran to him, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son began to apologize. I have sinned against God and against you, he said. But the father told his servants, Let's celebrate with a feast. Bring the best robe and put it on my son. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. This son of mine was lost, and now he is found. At this time, the older son came from the fields and heard music at the house. What's going on? He asked one of the servants. Your brother is here, the servant said. Your father is celebrating. The older brother was angry. He refused to go to the feast. The father asked him to come inside. The older brother said, I never disobeyed you, but you never threw a party for me. Son, the father said, everything I have is yours. We have to celebrate. Your brother was lost, but now he is found. Jesus told stories about people who were looking for things that were lost. Jesus told these stories to teach about himself. Jesus looks for people who are lost, people who do not know him. Jesus gave his life to save people from sin. Wow, what a good story. A shepherd and his sheep, a woman and her coin, a father and his son. Three very different stories that all have a pretty similar ending. Celebration. These parables help us remember that God celebrates us all the time. He's proud of us and He loves us. He doesn't celebrate our mistakes, but He does celebrate when we repent after them and acknowledge that we can't do it alone. We have to lean into God to get through, honestly, every day. When we turn to God and acknowledge that we can't do it on our own, we need Him, and He loves us so much, God celebrates. This week, let's give God a million reasons to celebrate. So much so that He's got to restock on confetti up in heaven. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye!